I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I walk it out. Hey, what's going on guys? Should be here back with some Battlefield Hardline beta because I believe it ends in a few days and I want to still capture some footage and share with you guys just in case you need another reminder like, hey, new Battlefield game, we're going to try it out, you can play for free right now in the beta, we're going to do some sniping. I saw some comments like, Shibby, want to see some sniping? Done. <laughs> we can make that happen. We're still using the AWM in my mind once again, it's always going to be the AWP in my heart, the AWP. The op never changes. So we're playing, in my opinion, my favorite mode is Hotwire. Just because it's random, it's crazy, and that's something that I want in my shooters now. If I'm going to play a pure shooter game, I'll go play Counter-Strike Go. But if I want something a little bit more wild, a little more crazy, we're playing some Battlefield, baby. <laughs> Pretty good shot there. And we are playing as the professional. That is the sniping class, if you guys are not aware. And I, I have my issues with with Hotwire, but just moments like this where like a police car pops up and the trying to bust this guy down with a breaching hammer or something, it's just it's just crazy. So we got a lot of different footage, and like this is not a sniper. Although, fun fact, all you Bad Company 2 players, the 870 Magnum was basically the best sniper in Bad Company 2 if you use the slugs. So I'm not sure if the slugs are available for this weapon because you have to play quite a bit to unlock certain features. But yes, sniping was at its best. So my problem with, with Hotwire, other than it's a lot of fun, is that to be effective, you need to play the objective, of course. But the objective of just driving around with the player counts I was playing with, which seemed pretty normal, I believe it was like 12v12, 16v16 or something, that you could just drive around and if you were a smart driver, which I mean is great and all, you could just get points very easy. So right now I have a 2100 point combo going of basically just me and this guy and just driving on our side of the map a little bit and flying through. Like that's, that's the way you're supposed to play it, right? Which is great, but if you wanna be a little more random and more crazy and just kinda of go around, take some sniper shots and all that, it's, it's hard to play optimal and also fun. So there's like, you gotta have that balance, which I like that there's in this mode, just if you wanna be that try hard guy, like th this gameplay is not that interesting. It might look good, 60 frames per second, 1080p. Sure, it's great and just like running into people and like running guys over is fun, but for a lot of the time, it's just driving a car. It's not like I'm like not enjoying myself, it's just, I don't think people will be tuning into YouTube videos like, oh man, like that is the best car route. Like that is very optimal. I probably won't get shot a lot. Maybe a lot, not a lot of people put traps there, but I think it'll be like car combat and not, I guess, quote unquote, try harding like this. Not that I am, but 3,300 point combo is kind of going, just driving around a car. Uh, it's fairly basic, fairly easy. This is something that I would want to let my, my teammates do while I go around and be more of a, a slayer. So even just right there, just driving around for a little bit, it's like I had a huge combo point and then I'm the top scorer on the team. And I was like typing, just like driving around is just too boring. So I don't know, I need a little more action than that. So that's something that I'm hoping that uh, maybe you guys, if, if, that's your, if that's your style, that you just wanna rack up a ton of points and be top scorer, that's perfectly fine. But I just don't think it's the most compelling gameplay on YouTube from say you're not gonna be tuning into Level Cap and Russian Badger and Jack Frags and all those guys. All right, now pay attention to that laser mine I put down. I was like, oh, I, like, I got C4 and then the flip off animation. That's one of the, the Easter eggs that if you guys wanna go back and play that, uh, I think Jack Frags said it's like one in 10,000. I don't know if it's that high, but that was supposed to be a spotting animation. That was then a flip off animation. So there are different Easter eggs in this game for uh, reloads, and, I, and I, I do like, I'm like, oh, what what am I doing here? Uh, where am I supposed to go? Because I, I don't know if I like the breaching hammer or the particular melee weapon I picked because it takes a while to swing and I'm not sure if it's a one hit kill. If that's the case, then uh, that's fine, but I don't know. I'm still a little, I don't know. Is it like stronger? If you guys know what the special thing about the breaching hammer, because there is like that wind up animation that you guys saw prior, that's kind of, I don't know. But sniping, so this is, Pretty much the difference what I was talking about earlier where I would be trying to slay people and take out cars and prevent the objective and, and not necessarily driving them myself. So pay attention, remember the trip mine I put down, just randomly, very randomly. I shot the tanker thinking like, holy shit, 
My sniper is so powerful, but that, that was the trip mine that I, I put down. I was just I was just shocked. And we're once again switching gameplay clips here to keep the talking points rolling. But I do I really like the weapon pickups because they're powerful, they're impactful, and they really change the gameplay. I really like how you don't spawn in with a rocket launcher, you don't spawn in with an LMG or all that kind of stuff, that you have to go and pick up these items, like they started doing on Battlefield, but, but the clearest reminder for me is Halo 1 and Halo 2. I'm fairly sure Halo 1 had, uh, like, you go pick up the rocket launcher. Like, that's very nostalgic for me, and I really enjoyed that. So switching gameplay clips again. This is very chaotic. Now, I forgive some of my newbie shooting and newbie maneuvers and just a lot of panic. And also, just notice that I was able to take health off that guy. He was the operation class or operator, um, a medic basically, and you can also take ammo off people so it'll no longer, from what I've seen, be like, oh my goodness, drop ammo, hey, ammo here, I need ammo, hey, give me some ammo, I, I don't know, there we go, oh, trip mine got him, or another person, I was like, I shot that guy right in the heart, I, I don't really know, he might have already been dead, but yes, this is a very strange, very strange occurrence, and one thing uh, I want you guys also to notice, as I'm just pointing stuff out in the gameplay, that the grappling hook is a ton of fun, and I need more time with it. If you guys were uh, Battlefield 2 players, I think Euro Forces or Special Forces came out. I really struggle to take this guy down. That the grappling hook was an addition, and it was a ton of fun, and you could kind of break some maps by going into some balconies and stuff. I'm not sure how well that has been tested here. I was thinking like, oh, I'm gonna distract this guy. I'm gonna shoot that over there. Maybe like I can like grappling hook from like over here and like they throw the grenade on you like shit, 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 shit. And I don't know why that didn't kill me. It must've landed more towards the front. I'm like, oh, all right, take the motorbike, get behind the, the, the shipping truck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, try and get some shots on this guy and I'm using the Tech 9, another pistol I purchased. So purchase the AWM. I think that was for 51,000 and the Tech 9 was like 10,000 or something. So I like climb up here, I pick my grappling hook up so no one come up, come up here. I'm like, all right, let's just see how hidden I'll be. And of course, sniping drivers, that's my favorite. So if you guys were, if not saying if you guys, but if someone was tryharding, they'd probably jump down there like, all right, so the objective, the objective, the objective, I need to get points. And that's just, there's, there are some bad shots here. I do apologize. I'm not the most perfect sniper in the world. I'm still trying to figure out the drop ratio and all that, so I, I really do apologize. And I highly suggest shooting out the driver prior to the passengers, unless the passenger sees you, of course. I thought I, I thought I hit and killed that guy, that's kind of disappointing. Because then the car stops, and then the passengers are typically screwed in pretty much every instance. So this is where I'm not going to try and reveal myself. I'm not going to stand up and go go YOLO swag mode. I thought he was going to keep running, so there are some bad shots here. I, I thought someone got in that. I got very confused for a second, but... Just using the sniper to deny cars is going to be one of my most favorite things. I, I guess he was in there, right? I really don't know what's going on, guys. I'm just talking off the cuff. One-shot gameplay. We're just talking and having a nice time. I just like talking to you guys, talking about the gameplay. We're not, we're not just having fun here. This blowing a hole through the windshield and just shooting people in the face because they literally will sit there and just take the bullet because they're you, can, you don't just launch off the car unless I haven't seen the stunt driver perk yet that you can purchase. Uh, and you get nitrous in your car. Also, the car takes less damage from running into stuff, which is pretty cool. So, uh, I have not experimented that yet. Whether that makes the the windows maybe a little bulletproof, I don't know. But oh, he's repairing. I'm like, bruh, bruh. Why are you getting in this car? And I'm just gonna shoot you in the face and then blow up the car. Just, I love it. It just it feels so satisfying sniping people. And that's one thing I promised to bring you guys is more sniper gameplay when the actual game comes out, because just try-harding with an assault rifle or, or an SMG is not that fun. Like, Gameplay-wise, I want to get a little more crazy. I think sniper and shotguns are more dynamic. Anyways, that has been the gameplay. I really enjoyed talking to you guys. Uh, this is the same gameplay clip I die, and then if you guys want to read the chat, it's not very nice. That guy was uh, really upset. He's like, <laughs> I don't even want to repeat that, but my name is Shibby, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the 1080p 60 frames per second. Uh, I love you all. If you liked the video, feel free to leave it a like. That really helps me out. Subscribe for more. Uh, I typically do shooter gameplays, but uh, I kind of just do whatever. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video coming soon.